All right, so today we're working on the E36 again. Uh, we are just gonna end up completing the manual conversion on the top today. This is what I did the other day. I, like I said, last time I used my Sony camera and that one doesn't have a mic. So I just have footage with no mic, no audio at all. So basically here, what I did was like unscrew two bolts, really basic. It's this one up here and this one down here. Same thing on the other side. Uh, take it out and in the middle there's gonna be two more bolts as well from the automatic motors you're gonna drop everything out and then just slap this back in i found this on facebook marketplace uh i had it shipped in from california i believe yeah i ended up paying like uh 90 dollars and you know of course the handles down there and today we're going to be doing the tonu latches i already took one off here hold on Put this back down. Up. Oh. All right. So I already took this one off. Uh, to take these off, you're just gonna need a what is that? A T27. It's only two bolts. And then just uh, run the wires out from the back. Same thing on the other side. Right there. Yeah. There you go. And here is the manual one. No, same deal. It has uh, two latches. This box that's right there. The mounting points are already there. And this right here is gonna run to the back uh, passenger side right here. So if we open this door. Right, where'd it go? Right here. That's where that's gonna go. The handle so we could release the tonneau and put the the top in so let's go ahead and knock that out i'm gonna set this camera up right here all right take it off it's pretty simple there's two bolts one at the bottom one up here this one has a washer set that off to the side Put that off to the side there we go and then just undo all the clips holding in the lines. Okay, I'm gonna need this one. Yeah. There we go. And we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side and just like run all those uh, wires out the trunk. So for a brief moment, I might have to close the tonneau, but first, uh, is there a way I can undo these so I don't have to cut them? Yeah, let's try to figure that out. All right, put the camera back down. All right. I mean, it really won't matter if I just cut it. I'm not, I'm not trying to do that. Oh, okay. So, to take off this wire, there's these little safety clips. Just have to clip them in and out of there. Pop the wire out and there we go just pull it out it works all right let's do the other side flip the camera all right same thing pop the clip out Let's see if I get a better view of this. That was easier. Gotta finesse it out. Mm. There you go. Cool. There you go. And now we just have to pull all the wires out the trunk. So be right back. All right, so I'm back. So what I ended up doing on the opposite side was uh, just clipping the ends off and pulling them through the hose. So the, in the ends look like this. I just took some uh, needle nose pliers and used like the cutting side, snip them off on both sides. And then right here, they're attached to right here, right there and right here. All I did was pop off those uh, clips and just pull them through. And here are both of them now, right there. So now, since that's out, 
I have to go back later and take those motors out, which I'll probably do that off camera and post it up for sale soon. Uh, I'm gonna need this wire for sure, because this wire lets you know whenever the tonneau's open, so the trunk doesn't open and you don't scratch up the tonneau. So I need to rewire that in with the new ones, because these new ones had it, but the guy, whenever he was pulling these off, he just uh, clipped off the wires here, right there. So I'm just, I'm just gonna splice it into the same sensor. It'll be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down and run all these wires and then show you guys the bolting down process. All right, so I have a quick little mock-up here. Of, hold on, let me get my camera back here. All right, I have a quick little mock-up. I went ahead and bolted this down, not all the way, just enough to see how much uh, leeway I had of these wires. Uh, this is gonna go right here to those OEM hose, gonna line up perfectly right there, right? I wouldn't need to buy these clips. I don't think he included those in the hardware he sent me. And then over here, I uh, ran this tension wire through this hole that goes down there, it's hard to see. And it comes out right here, right where I want my door handle to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and bolt everything down and see how well this uh, new tonneau top works. All right, so we're back working on this. I had to take a small break uh, and wait on parts because the guy I bought the manual levers for the tonneau did not include these clips back here. So I had to uh, order those from Amazon Prime. I could put the link down in the description. That was a uh, two day air if you have Amazon Prime. Yeah, I think this is like eight bucks for like a 30 count. So amazing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and prop the camera down right here and go ahead and bolt that in. I'm sorry if I'm blocking the view, I don't know. So it's now bolted in, everything should work as needed. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the cover for this because this looks kind of ugly just hanging out back here. So let me go get that cover. Uh, I also, if we're coming here, need to install this or just pull it each time. Nah, I should probably install the little handle right there. So we'll go do that too. All right, great. Let me go ahead and get all the other parts we need and we'll be back. Okay, so the cover is now on. Uh, those are engaged, right? The levers are. And I just noticed that the guy sent me the wrong handle as well. So that doesn't even line up in that hole at all. Anyway, you see I have this here. It doesn't line up with it. But I guess I'm just gonna run, ghetto rig it and run some pliers and just take off this panel and pull that wire each time. Uh, but it works, let's give it a quick go. I'm gonna pull the wire, one, two, three. There we go. Everything works as it should, and that's what's important. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a test run, put the top down, 
and tuck everything in. Let me just get all my tools out from in there and then over here. Oh, what's that? Oh. Uh, I need that too. That. All right. Let's go ahead and put the top down. Let me remove that out of there. Drop that in. This is the part where I don't understand on the automatic ones. Like either way, you still have to get out and tuck this in somehow. I don't know. I never had an automatic convertible. Let's go ahead and tuck that other side in as well. Tuck, 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 tuck. There we go. Let's go ahead and close the top. A little loose on that side. Let's see. manually insert that up all right uh let's see why is this side loose all right i guess i'm gonna have to adjust this side a bit but overall we're officially topless that was a nice audi but we're officially topless uh i'm just gonna have to do a little more research and figure out what handle i need for that side and the next thing on this car is probably going to be speakers and then seats and then fix that so yeah need to get speakers soon that's pretty much done i like the way it looks it's people yeah. all right guys that's pretty much it for this video uh, i'm a link everything down below in the description so if you're doing this and you run into some trouble hopefully this helps i'm also going to go ahead and link down a diagram for all the hardware you're going to need so i'm going to link that diagram and that's where i got these from i'm also going to link the guy's youtube video that i watched do this shout out to you forgot your name but catch you in the next one